Let's go to John Finolio. He's joining us in the studio. He's got more. John? Well, Corden, Rick, after the disastrous Iowa caucuses last week, the candidates are under more pressure than ever to shore up support ahead of Tuesday's vote. Now, a new poll shows two candidates in particular gaining momentum. Thank you. Battleground, New Hampshire. Oh, this is an incredible turnout. Where every door knocks. Right, so I need your vote, and Bailey is my deal closer. And every diner. That's a lot for one cone. Is a chance to win over voters before Tuesday's primary. This is it. New Hampshire has a huge role. You're the first primary. You're going to be able to count the votes. A new UNHCNN poll shows Senator Bernie Sanders with a slight lead over former Mayor Pete Buttigieg, with 28% of likely voters backing the Vermont senator, 21% favoring the former South Bend, Indiana mayor. We can feel how close we are. We can feel the wind at our back. The latest survey also shows Senator Elizabeth Warren and former Vice President Joe Biden losing support. So I took a hit in Iowa, and I'll probably take a hit here. After a fourth place finish in Iowa's chaotic caucuses last week, Biden now going on the offensive, releasing this ad Saturday criticizing Buttigieg's experience. Joe Biden helped lead the passage of the Affordable Care Act, which gave health care to 20 million people. And when park goers called on Pete Buttigieg, he installed decorative lights under bridges, giving citizens of South Bend colorfully illuminated rivers. Sanders also taking swipes. Pete Buttigieg has most exclusive billionaire donors of any Democrat. That's, that was from Forbes. I like Pete Buttigieg, nice guy. But we are in a moment where billionaires control not only our economy, but our political life. Buttigieg punching back Saturday night, a move that elicited angry boos from many in the crowd. We cannot risk dividing Americans' future further saying that you must either be for a revolution or you must be for the status quo. Let's make room for everybody in this movement. All right, a lot can happen over the next couple of days. This race in New Hampshire certainly not in the bag for any one candidate just yet. Those polls also show that a third of all New Hampshire voters are undecided. I'll send it back to you. John, thank you. Meantime